Chapter 503 You need a class 9 pill furnace. This. Huo Yuan suddenly realized that he had neglected an important problem. Sun Zuan followed by saying, Secondly, let me ask you, when origin energy of heaven and earth is gathered and compressed within a certain region, what will happen when the tool compressing it has its own limit? This. Huo Yuan started to perspire. Sun Zuan laughed coldly. It will blow apart. Even you will be blown apart. Do you not know how much origin energy there is in these treasures? Haven't you eaten them before? Can't you imagine it all? Do you really think a furnace is enough? What a joke. If you can't solve these two problems, you'll only be wasting resources. As he spoke, he threw the blueprint at Huo Yuan's face before turning and leaving. Hey, teacher Sun, don't go. I was wrong. I was wrong. Please advise me. Sun Zuan pointed out the problems, but not the solutions. Furthermore, Huo Yuan couldn't think of anything to deal with these two problems. He immediately chased after Sun Zuan. Although Sun Zuan was walking away, he revealed a weird grin on his face. He thought to himself, Rascal, you'll definitely be tricked this time, won't you? He he. After hearing from Bei Bei that Huo Yuan wanted to use precious treasures to cultivate medicine, he had already anticipated that there would be problems with the furnace. The reason was very simple. When Sun Zuan was in the Sun Moon Empire, there was a soul engineer that he shared great ties with who was in charge of cultivating medicines for the Imperial family. Why were there so many soul engineers in the Sun Moon Empire? It was because they could be cultivated using a lot of medicine. The soul engineers who were talented could consume medicine to increase their cultivation speed. In this aspect, the Sun Moon Empire held an absolute advantage over the other empires. Sun Zuan was also not talented in terms of his martial soul, so he had also resorted to using medicine to increase his cultivation. His cultivation had reached nine rings through medicinal help, too. However, he realized that the medicines in Shrek weren't cultivated before they were consumed, even though they were top quality. This was a waste of medicine. However, he didn't say anything because he had his own important research to do, and also because he wasn't very adept. At cultivating pills. Hearing what Huo Yuan wanted to do this time, he rushed over. The reason was very simple. The furnace he needed had to be an advanced soul tool if such precious treasures were used as materials to cultivate medicine. The higher the quality of the materials, the higher the requirements for the furnace. This was what that Sun Moon Empire's pure cultivating soul engineer had told him before. Although he didn't know what the treasures Huo Yuan had brought back were or what their quality was, he could roughly guess from Bei Bei's simple description that at least a class 9 furnace would be needed. Given Huo Yuan's current abilities, he couldn't possibly produce a class 9 soul tool. Sun Zuan knew that blueprint was worthless no matter how detailed or well drawn it was, because Huo Yuan couldn't solve a very simple problem, compressing the origin energy that was released. Without it, an explosion was the only outcome. How could Huo Yuan know about Sun Zuan's experience? He even pursued him after being admonished. Sun Zuan had killed two birds with one stone. Why are you following me? Sun Zuan stopped in his tracks and looked at Huo Yuan coldly. Huo Yuan hurriedly and respectfully said, Teacher Sun, I was wrong. I'll put more effort into learning soul tool production from you. He was also very intelligent. He knew that Sun Zuan was doing this as a show for him. How could he not understand what his intentions were? Sun Zuan snorted disdainfully and replied, Do I have to teach you even if you're willing to learn? Twin martial souls and ultimate ice. Go on then. Go and be your soul master. As he spoke, he turned around and left. Huo Yuan's figure immediately flashed, and he blocked Sun Zuan's path. He was full of smiles as he said, Teacher Sun, I know I was in the wrong. Even if it's a death sentence, there's still time for repentance. You should give me a chance to turn over a new leaf. Don't worry, I'll learn under you seriously. In the future, I'll do my best to become a class 9 soul engineer. I won't give up anymore. What do you think? Sun Zuan appeared to be in a better mood now. He snorted once and said, That's more like it. Counting on the fact that you appear more sincere today, I'll agree reluctantly. However, remember that I'm nurturing you not purely because I want you to become a class 9 soul engineer. Although class 9 soul engineers are very rare, they aren't the extreme. Huo Yuan was astonished. So, what do you want to do? Sun Zuan revealed an intense and passionate look in his eyes. He stared at Huo Yuan until the spots started to appear on Yuan's skin. Before I die, I hope I can a class 10 soul engineer and help him reach the peak of soul engineers. My talent is limited. I'll never become a class 10 soul engineer. However, you are a prodigy. I believe that I can do it. Just work hard. This time, I won't let you leave the tank sect easily before you become a class 9 soul engineer. Whatever commitments you have, I want you to throw them aside. This. Huo Yuan suddenly turned grim and smiled bitterly at Sun Zuan, class 9 soul engineer. How is it that easy? First, I need to become a title duo. That doesn't happen in a day or two. Sun Zuan laughed coldly and said, Are you unwilling? It's up to you. Do whatever you want. As he spoke, he walked leisurely away. Teacher Sun, don't go. Huo Yuan hurriedly chased after him and laughed bitterly. See, I barely had eight rings now. How easy is it for me to reach nine rings? Moreover, I still need to become a class nine soul engineer. Aren't your requirements a little too high? Yes, I guarantee that I'll work hard. Should you not relax your demands? How about a class eight soul engineer? Sun Zuan didn't even bother with him. He continued to walk forward as if he didn't hear anything. Huo Yuan was also helpless now. He knew that he couldn't succeed without Teacher Sun's help this time. However, wasn't it a little too strict to stop him from leaving the Tang sect before he became a class nine soul engineer? If he wasn't fortunate, wouldn't that take him from eight to ten years? Teacher Sun, Teacher Sun. Seeing that Sun Zuan was getting further and further away, Huo Yuan continued chasing after him. He gritted his teeth and said, All right, I agree. However, I can't absolutely not leave the sect. I'll try not to leave Shrek City. However, if there's something important, especially when the Academy requests it, I'll need to go. Sun Zuan also knew that he couldn't force Huo Yuan too much. He nodded and said, That's fine. Shrek Academy was very supportive of his research, and they shared a good relationship. In addition, Sun Zuan also knew that Huo Yuan was one of the members of the Sea Gods Pavilion. If the Academy had something for him to do, Sun Zuan couldn't possibly stop him. With his words, Huo Yuan heaved a sigh of relief. Before he could say anything else, Sun Zuan added, Rascal, don't think I don't know what you're plotting. If you try to use the Academy to sneak off, don't blame me for being unkind. I won't show any mercy then. I'll leave the Tang just like how I left the illustrious Virtue Hall. Ugh. Teacher Sun, am I that sort of person? Why would I use the academy as an excuse to sneak off? Don't worry, I'll study seriously. Although Huo Yuan felt a little guilty, he still spoke the truth in his heart. This was no time to offend Sun Zuan. Sun Zuan nodded in satisfaction and said, All right, follow me then. We have to design your furnace properly. We need a class 9 furnace for stability. Class 9. Huo Yuan was really shocked. Sun Zuan laughed coldly and said, Do you think it's so easy to refine treasures? Without a class 9 furnace, you won't be able to contain the aura of such good stuff. Not only do you have to seal it, you'll have to compress it, too. All the details have to be considered. You have no room for failure. Do you really think you're performing an experiment? Huo Yuan wanted to reply yes. He had brought back a lot of good stuff this time. Although he couldn't perform an experiment using the same materials, it was still possible for him to choose one that wasn't too expensive. However, he didn't dare say that. Sun Zuan was very serious. Instead, he humbly asked, Teacher Sun, what should we do? Sun Zuan said as he walked, We'll perfect the blueprint over these next few years. I had a friend who was a pill cultivating master. I heard him explaining how to cultivate pills before. However, he didn't create a class 9 furnace back then. He only thought of it. You must join in the design. Although your cultivation and experience are lacking. Your spiritual power is strong enough. It shouldn't be a problem for you to take a look at some complex blueprints. You'll be
decompositions came out. The entire process was rather complicated. When Huo Yuan successfully created the class 8 decomposition pattern, he was still some way off from the standards of a class 8 soul engineer. After all, the blueprint that he had then was provided by Sun Zwen. As Sun Zwen drew out a blueprint, he muttered to himself, first is the choice of materials. Since our pure furnace will be class 9, we need to consider the materials that we will use. Even though using core formations can generate energy compression and isolation, the materials used have to be resilient and resistant enough to isolate external substances. At the same time, it needs to be a good conductor of heat. Huo Yuan stood at one side and listened to Sun Zwen seriously as he looked at the blueprint being drawn up. Everything being said was for his benefit. During the process of research, time always passed very quickly. Sun Zwen was indeed a class 9 soul engineer. It had only been a day, but Huo Yuan was already feeling pretty overwhelmed. Even given the strength of his spiritual power, he had to meditate to restore it. However, Sun Zwen was still foregoing food and sleep for his research. The blueprint that he was drawing up already made up a stack of paper. The complexity of class 9 soul tools was far beyond Huo Yuan's expectations. This class 9 soul tool was formed by multiple class 8 soul tools. Not only did it involve the knowledge of spatial systems, but temporal systems, too. Every detail deviated greatly from what Huo Yuan had learned in the past. Furthermore, in the process of creating a class 9 soul tool, every rare metal used was absolutely precious. It was very difficult to carve each and every one of them. Not only did one require great soul power, but one also needed to combine his soul and spiritual power. Even with Huo Yuan's immense spiritual power, the complicated core formations were still astonishing to him. He was completely bamboozled. He didn't understand everything Sun Zwen was talking about. However, Sun Zwen didn't seem to be bothered at all. He continued to ramble on and didn't repeat himself at all, letting Huo Yuan work out everything by himself. He only asked Huo Yuan questions occasionally. If he got them right, they would continue. If he was wrong, he would be admonished. In the blink of an eye, three days passed. A prototype had been made. Sun Zwen was already on the fourth step of the blueprint. The simplification and combination of the required formations. This combination wasn't just for the purpose of eventually coming up with the core formation. Rather, through the simplification, they hoped that the core formation would also be simplified. This would make it less difficult to create. Of course, this was only a relative statement. A class nine soul tool still required a great amount of effort to forge. Class nine stationary shells were even more difficult. This was because the core formations of a class nine stationary shell required very detailed and extreme designs, in addition to the complexity of it, so that it could produce the greatest strength when it blew apart. As a result, it could detonate any time during the production process. You are. A soft voice came from outside. Huo Yuan turned around and saw he Kei waving to him. Huo Yuan took a look at Sun Zwen, who signaled that he could go over. His gaze was fixated on his blueprint from start to finish. Huo Yuan walked over in front of he Kei He lowered his voice. Second senior, what's the matter? He Kei lowered his voice. I came here to find you. You and Teacher Sun have already been here for three days. It's time to rest when it's time to rest. You should remind him too. This was what Eldest Senior said to me. Another thing, don't forget you have to make a trip to the academy the day after tomorrow. Eldest Senior Sister sent someone to remind you today. Oh, oh. Who are you? I recalled now. He had agreed to Jiang Wasan's request to join the faded blind state. At the same time, he needed to get his graduation certificate. He smacked his forehead and replied, Thank heaven that you reminded me. Otherwise, I would really have forgotten. Thanks, second senior. He K2 smiled and said, We're brothers. You don't have to thank me. What are you and teacher some researching? A pill furnace. Who are you? I replied. Although Bei Bei didn't allow him to talk about cultivating pills, it was fine to mention a pill furnace. He K2 was curious. A pill furnace? For what purpose? To cultivate pills. Who are you? I replied. Teacher Sun wants to make an advance to your pill furnace. This is so that pills can be cultivated for disciples of the sect to consume, which would quicken their cultivation speed. He K2's eyes brightened and he commented, That's great. I'm anxious after seeing that all your cultivations have been increasing significantly. Ever since he became a soul sage, he K2 felt that his cultivation speed had been lagging behind. It wasn't that he wasn't working hard enough, it was because of his martial soul. He K2 was a food type soul master. It was harder for a food type soul master to cultivate during the later stages of his cultivation, and much more difficult for a food type soul master to increase his soul power compared to an ordinary soul master. However, with the right medicine, it would be much easier. Regarding this, he K2 had always been very accepting. He was a soul engineer, too. Most soul engineers relied on medicine to improve. It would be great for him to have medicines to consume. If his cultivation wasn't enough. It would affect his ability to become a class 8 or 9 soul engineer. Who are you? I smiled and said, don't be anxious. When the pill furnace is done, we can try it. He K2 nodded and said, I'll return first. The past few years have been tiring. However, I still feel a sense of achievement when I see soul tools being created. Learn well from teacher son. Little junior, you are much more talented than me. You must do your best. Definitely. Who are you acknowledged? He K2 left and Who are you returned to Sun Zwen's side. He continued to analyze the blueprint along with his teacher. Over these last few days, Sun Zwen was rather satisfied with Who are you how. Who are you hadn't left his side during the past three days. Furthermore, he was actually very pleased inside, even though he was scolding Who are you frequently. Who are you was very intelligent, even smarter than he was before. Regarding his descriptions, he was always able to draw inferences about other cases. At times, he even came up with suggestions that stunned his teacher. Sun Zwen was rather pleased to have such a clever student. However, he always acted fierce to prevent him from being overly full of himself. Talents had to be restrained a little to prevent them from getting arrogant. Who are you was indeed much more intelligent than he was before. The reason was very simple. Wang Qiu's sacrifice. Wang Qiu had given him the skull of destiny. Not only did it increase Who are you's spiritual power, but it also greatly enhanced his intelligence. Though even Huo Yuan was unsure of how that had happened. In fact, if not for the fact that his intelligence had greatly increased, his cultivation wouldn't have grown at such a rapid speed. Even if he consumed the rarest substances and fused with a large amount of life energy, in the blink of an eye, another day passed. It was easy for one to forego sleep and food when one was deep in research. It was only when he came to came to find Huo Yuan again that he remembered he needed to make a trip to the academy. Sun Zwen didn't stop him. He had to collect his graduation certificate. After all, they were already at the last stage of their blueprint. Given Huo Yuan's current abilities, he wouldn't be able to comprehend this stage. It was a point where nothing could be allowed to go wrong. If something did, all the precious materials would go to waste. After exiting Sun Zwen's laboratory, Huo Yuan took in a deep breath. It was unprecedentedly comfortable feeling the surge of fresh air into his lungs. Second senior, I'll go first. Please help me tell Elder Senior that I'll be back tomorrow morning. It was bright outside, but Huo Yuan had been in the laboratory for many days. He hadn't tracked the time at all. He K2 stopped him and asked, Little Junior, are you planning to go just like that? Huo Yuan answered, Of course. What other way is there? He K2 was speechless. Little Junior, eldest senior sister mentioned that you were going for the sea god's faded blind state. You are the face of the Tang sect now. Look at you. You've not changed your clothes since you returned. You've not showered for many days either, and your hair is a mess. If you go like this, she'll send you back. Go and tidy up before getting some food. Freshen up first. Ugh. If not for Hikaru's reminder, Huo Yuan wouldn't have realized that he had so many problems right now. He hadn't showered in days and had skipped a few meals. He had been immersed in the world of soul tools. He seemed so slipshod right now. How could he represent the Tang sect like this? Huo Yuan's face turned red, and he said, "I return now. Thanks for your reminder, Second Senior." Hikaru laughed. "You quickly go. Eldest Senior has already prepared clothes for you. Go and represent the Tang sect. Recruit
You are, you are. The Snow Empress called Jolted. Who are you awake? He hurriedly asked. What's wrong? Ice Empress. A white light flashed, and the Snow Empress appeared in front of him. She appeared very anxious. Where's little guy? When he was still in your demiplane, I had already sent something amiss. Quickly, let him out. I'm afraid he might face a bottleneck soon. What? Who are you out was given a scare. The Ice Bear King and Snow Empress were closely connected. The Snow Empress had saved him and transferred some of her abilities to him. This was how he became the Ice Bear King. They had a tight connection. If the Snow Empress said something like this, she must have discovered something. Who are you out didn't dare to delay any further. He quickly recited a few incantations and opened the door that led to his demiplane. He entered the demiplane along with the Snow Empress. When he came in, he was completely shocked. There was an unprecedented change in his demiplane. The entire sky was dark and gloomy. Bolts of lightning intersected in the sky. Immense pressure bore down from the skies, suppressing the countless specters on the ground. Some of the stronger ones roared at the bolts of lightning, as if they were trying to resist the heavens. The Ice Bear King was standing on a mountain, just standing there quietly. Right now, he appeared very calm. He was still in his human form, and there was still some food scraps on the sides of his lips. His gaze was deep and long. There was even a sense of Self mockery and disdain to it. As he stood there, he really seemed to have become the core of the entire demiplane at this moment. Suddenly, a bolt of lightning struck down from the sky onto Little Bai's head. Little Bai roared furiously, and his hair all stood on end. A layer of icy blue light surfaced to resist the lightning. As it clashed with the bolt of lightning, the lightning dissipated, and Little Bai's body shook a little. There was an electrifying look in his eyes after this happened. This is. Who are you? Al was astonished as he watched beside the Snow Empress. The Snow Empress appeared very serious and said, "It started. It's actually started. I didn't expect your demiplane to be so close to reality. A lightning catastrophe can actually happen here. This is a catastrophe that soul beasts have to face every hundred thousand years. Although the catastrophe faced by each soul beast is different, it is without a doubt that a lightning catastrophe is the most dangerous. No wonder I always had this feeling that Little Bai wouldn't be able to survive this catastrophe. It's actually a lightning catastrophe. Who are you? Al asked. What should we do now? Can we help him resist the lightning catastrophe? The Snow Empress shook her head and replied, "No, you can't. You'll only be courting death. Your cultivation is too weak. If I still had my original body, we might still stand a chance. However, it's not possible. I'm only a spiritual entity now. I'm afraid of lightning. I'll also be courting death if I go and help him. Who are you? I anxiously asked. Don't tell me that we can only." Watch. What if he dies if he can't resist it anymore? Is there no way at all? At this moment, another bolt of lightning struck. Little Bai found it more difficult to resist the lightning this time. Not only did he stagger, but he also returned to his original form. A patch of hair on his shoulders had already been charred. We have no other way right now, the Snow Empress said decisively. We can only leave him to it. This fellow is too greedy. If he had returned to the Dulua continent with you, we would have known about any catastrophe before it arrived. However, he can't sense anything here. He can only suffer. If he's able to hold on, that'll be great. Even if he can't, he won't be completely decimated. As long as a streak of his spiritual sense is left, we can still transform it and bring him back. Who are you? I looked at the Snow Empress. He was helpless right now. The Snow Empress had experienced such a catastrophe seven times. She was more experienced, and he could only listen to her advice. Fortunately, the lightning was only targeting Little Bai. The sky was getting darker and darker. Thick clouds were gathering above the mountain. If the lightning targeted the specters, this demiplane would surely be ravaged. Boom. Boom. Two consecutive bolts of lightning struck. Little Bai summoned his soul power to its maximum, and an icy blue shield surfaced above his head, resisting those two bolts of lightning. However, Who are you? I could clearly sense Little Bai's aura growing weaker. The power of lightning was great, and contained the natural chi of heaven and earth. Who are you? I felt as if his body had been baptized by the thunderous natural chi when he felt it so close to him. Little Bai peered into the sky and roared. His massive body squirmed a little. Following this, a beam of icy blue light shot into the sky, charging straight to the clouds. Instantly, everything within a region spanning a thousand meters in diameter was turned into ice and snow. Snowflakes danced in the air, and the temperature fell dramatically. Who are you? I wasn't harmed, even though he was in this region, since his martial soul was ultimate ice, and he also had the snow empress with him. Little Bai was retaliating. Who are you? I opened his eyes wide to see what Little Bai had achieved. The truth, however, was that Little Bai's attack wasn't very effective. Bolts of lightning struck down and dismantled the beam of light that he unleashed. Even though there was still a streak of light that hit the clouds, weakening them, Little Bai's body was already shaking uncontrollably as the streak of light dissipated. The soul power undulations that came from his body had weakened considerably. Too, the earlier attack was already his strongest strike. Who are you out? And the Snow Empress rushed over. The Ice Bear King had already been facing the lightning for some time. His soul power was almost drained. The clouds seemed to be infuriated. Bolts of lightning struck towards Little Bai. Little Bai didn't appear to be out of hope when he peered into the sky. There was only a persistent look on his face. An icy blue whirlpool slowly appeared on his forehead. The surrounding air current seemed to undulate tremendously, and the bolts of lightning were resisted just like that. Who are you? saw a core like a snowflake at the center of that rapidly spinning whirlpool. It was Little Bai's soul core. It turned out that one soul core could be used like that. When Who are you? saw the soul core, he heaved a sigh of relief. This was power that only a title duo or a hundred thousand year soul beast possessed. He and his teammates had killed title duo before. However, they were always very fortunate. If the title duo they had killed had unleashed their soul cores, their fighting strength would have been significantly greater. However, who are you? I could tell that this was Little Bai's last resort. Once his soul core was damaged, his life would be in great danger, and his cultivation would fall significantly. He might even completely lose his cultivation. It was why title duo really relied on the strength of their soul core. So who are you? Al? Observing this fight was a good way of accumulating experience. Personally, witnessing a soul beast overcoming a catastrophe was very rare among human soul masters. Boom, 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 boom. Bolts of lightning continued to fall. Little Bai's soul core was still capable of resisting them initially. However, his aura gradually started to weaken, and his soul core started to shake unstably. Given his condition, the strength of his soul core couldn't completely protect his body anymore. Patches of black started to appear on his body. He was also forced to sit on the ground by the lightning striking him. His gaze was also becoming dimmer and dimmer. Boom. Yet another ball of lightning struck. Little Bai was flung into the air as an explosion reverberated across the demiplane. The air current surrounding his soul core instantly disappeared, leaving his soul core exposed. Little Bai. Who are you? I screamed. He sprinted forward without any hesitation. You are. Don't go. The Snow Empress didn't expect Huo Yu to be so quick. She was already too late before she could stop him. Huo Yu instantly teleported above Little Bai. He mimicked a lifting action, and his immense ultimate ice soul power was unleashed from his body. Another ball shaped bolt of lightning formed in the sky and crashed down toward Little Bai. Huo Yu placed himself between the ball of lightning and Little Bai. There was a decisive look in his eyes. He knew that what he was doing was dangerous. However, if he didn't do this, he wouldn't be able to forgive himself. He couldn't forget how Little Bai had accompanied him and called him Grandpa. Without Little Bai, he wouldn't have been able to breach Heaven Do City. Without Little Bai, he wouldn't have been able to resist Chu Z or sneak into the Sun Moon Empire's base. Little Bai had been with him all this while, silently contributing to his cause. Apart from eating, he didn't ask for anything else. Every time he took action, he gave his all. He even got injured. Although Huo Yu hadn't expressed his gratitude, he knew all this in his heart. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.